In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use our uh, conversion tool, which will convert PowerPoints into micro lessons for you and give you a really good head start on, um, you know, getting your content into EdApp. So um, let's jump right in. We want to neaten up our PowerPoint before we uh, upload it to EdApp for it to be converted. Uh, what does that mean? That means deleting uh, kind of any little live objects that you don't want in the uh, in the micro lesson. Uh, so if you have page numbers or uh, names or anything like that uh, at the bottom of your PowerPoints, just delete them. Anything that is live will be pulled in. So a slide like this is perfect. It has a title, has a block of information, and it has an image. That's all fine. Uh, make sure your images are, uh, you know, com compressed before you put them in the PowerPoint. This will help reduce the size of your uh, of your PowerPoint overall. Um, bullet points like these will be pulled in as bullet points. So if that's something you want, then just leave it like that. If not, then uh, just remove the bullet points and make it just one block of text. Like I said, this is just kind of neatening things up to make our life easier in the future. Uh, a map like this um, will be pulled in and it will be fine, but if you wanted to make it interactable or something like that, then uh, you know, you're going to want to upload that separately later, but it's so easy to change. Links won't be pulled in, so that's something to keep in mind. Also, the order, as you can see here, uh, it won't be in the order that's on the page. Uh, it will take it by um, font size, so the largest font um, and the heading will affect it. So that will be the heading of the slide. Um, again, it will put it in the image fine. Something like this where uh, you have a piece of text and a background. This background actually isn't set as a background in PowerPoint. It is an image uh, just made to the size of the slide. This will just be pulled in as an image, uh, which you'll see later. So you can either delete this or remove it when it's in the tool. Uh, individual images like this should all be pulled in separately uh, instead of one big slide. And any text that is on an image uh, will just be pulled in as an image, it won't pick this up. So basically make uh, your PowerPoint as neat as possible, remove anything that you don't want in there, uh, and it's gonna make your life a little bit easier when you're in the tool. Okay, so now we want to uh, actually upload our PowerPoint. So I'm in a blank account here, um, and in the top right you have the content library and you know the create course, but we also have the ability to upload a PPT, so a PowerPoint, and select that, uh, and then it's going to come up with this uh, this box here. Um, as you can see, maximum file size is 50 megabytes. So if you are struggling, uh, you want to take a look at the kind of media you've put in there. If it's um, you know a lot of like really really large images, then uh, you want to try and reduce that by compressing them. Choose the file. Here I have my presentation. Uh, and it's going to go through loading. Then you can give it a title. And just call it general info. Um, and it will take a while just to uh, just to process and load. Okay, so now I can click next. Um, you can also allow it to import similar courses. So this can be really useful if uh, you don't have much content at the moment um, and then you want similar uh, similar content uh, from the content library. So you can just go down and choose your industry and then select a, uh, select a category. Um, I'm not going to do that now, just to show you the upload tool. Click next. And then uh, it will just tell you it's going to convert the slides. Uh, and then it's ready, so you can click edit my lesson. Now it's been uploaded, uh, you can see the structure on the right. Um, it will have this title slide in still, so you can just go ahead and delete that. Uh, and then really it's up to you kind of in what direction you want to take it in. Uh, we can go through here. Uh, so here this is what happens if you don't delete kind of the little footnotes of slides. Um, it will just put them in like this, so we'll just delete that as well. Uh, but it's no big deal if you forgot to do it. And then here, this is an example of bullet points. It actually did add the bold in as well, so the text will be bolded. You can go through like this. Um, here we have a map, but uh, I really want to um, actually have areas of the map that you can click and zoom in on. So I'll show you that now. So instead of having um, the map look like this, I'm actually going to add new slide. Choose image waypoint, uh, and then we can just navigate to the uh, file. So once you have all your files ready, um, 
it's really easy just to either remove them from what the tool gave you and then just kind of upload them in you know, uh, different ways. Uh, and then now this will give me the ability to select different regions that people can click on for the map uh, and then zoom in, provide them with more information. Uh, carrying on, so something like this is fine. Um, depending on the placement of the image in the slide, it will change like this. Um, like I said, it is very easy to change this. So what you could do is uh, copy this text, upload your image again here, and then you put your text down below. And then the image will be above it if you wanted to change the order. Um, again, if you wanted to change the slide type, so if you wanted to do a comparison, uh, you know, you just select that. Uh, and then it's super easy just to take the text. But this is really kind of, you know, giving you a stepping stone and a, and a head start to uh, making your micro lessons. Um, so it can be really, really powerful, especially if you have a lot of these. Um, it's very easy to kind of go through and knead them up. Again, so here we have this image with Sydney. Uh, obviously, I wanted this to be a background in the slide. So to do that, we're going to get the image uh, slider template. I'm just going to upload it. And then I'm going to select cover. Then we'll put the uh, caption in the middle. Uh, and then we go, and then that's something that you can kind of, you know, replicate in EdApp, uh, the, how it looked in the PowerPoint, but the tool won't do that for you. You just have to do it yourself. Um, but it takes like no time at all. Again, uh, here was a collection of images on one slide. So you can see it put in an image gallery, um, which I think is fine. But then if you wanted to add captions in, then you can just uh, put them in below. Uh, again, this is another example. So we have an image here, but the text didn't come through. Um, so you'd have to put that in yourself if you wanted it to be text on its own or a different kind of uh, slide type. Once you're happy with all the content in the lesson, you can then go ahead and start adding in questions. Um, so, you know, something like a missing word, uh, you know, that's gonna be really effective. Come here, then we can start adding in um, some multiple choices. Uh, if you have any stats or any, or any prices that you want to reinforce, then a number template. And then it's always kind of good practice to go to the end. Uh, and then we're gonna click games. Then you can add add a game at the end just to round off all the information. Uh, and then if you want to capture any kind of learner information, you know, any feedback, then add in a survey slide. Um, and then you're really good to go. So at that point, all of your content and questions are done. Uh, you just need to add branding. So you just come back to the course level here. And then here you can either upload a, a background uh, that you've made yourself and you know a company logo, for example. Um, or you can choose just a color scheme. You can also use uh, the Canva buttons to design your uh, backgrounds and things like that on Canva as well, uh, but that will be in a separate video on how to use Canva to make designs. Um, but then once you brand it, you're good to go and then you can get learners to uh, start, taking the, uh, start taking the lesson.